What's going on, y'all? Yeah, it's been a while. I just want to know, just want to let you know, that it's, it's been a while and I'm glad to be back. But the title of this is Black or Negro, A Dying Like Fly. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Not too far from here. Three uh, African-American friends, 1.30 in the morning, shot themselves to pieces. And nobody even know what it's for. Now, these were friends now. I just want to let you know, we have every community we live in in America, East Indian, Arab, and Orientals, and Asians, have took over everything. You go to Asians to cash a check, you go to Orientals to buy your, your hair, weave, and you go to Arabs to buy your clothes. We've been here hundreds of years, man, we can't even unite. They're saying that we're incapable of critical or abstract thinking. We have to be, we should be producing entrepreneurs. What we need to be, let me tell you something. If we don't stop killing one another, man, only a few more decades, they say we'll only be 3% of the entire population. I just want to tell you, that, that's something to think about. Now, we're 13% of the population now. In just two or three more years, I mean, I'm sorry, in just about, just three more decades, we'll only be 3% of the population the way we're killing each other and dying out. In North Carolina, this guy talking about, this this East Indian, it was talking about ugly black babies, and it wasn't one black person out there. These were white people from a church asking, why are you doing abortions on black people? We call black babies ugly. And all they're gonna do is gray in the community. <laughs> I'm telling you. And another thing I'd like to tell you. We all know 72% of every African-American child is born in a single-parent household. But let me tell you something. Man, most of these children have to be schooled, should be schooled at home, because, and, and taught manners. Because all they're doing is growing up children and just killing each other. We are our own worst enemy, man. This is ridiculous. Everywhere you go is murdering. One shot, one in, in Orangeburg, South Carolina. In a dorm killed them. We have a short time left. What we're going to be doing is like Dr. Manning say. We're going to be working for Asians, not only Asians, for foreigners, and then we're going to be paying rent to them, and they're going to be signing our paycheck. Look at us, man. We have not progressed at all. Martin Luther Bur King's birthday just passed. And this girl came up and said, what did he ever do for somebody? Nicki Minaj was what was much better. Look at all the time he, Dr. King spent in prison. What a stupid thing to say. That just goes to show you the condition that we're in educationally and economically. It's, it's, we're in a mess. If we don't come out of this soon, that's it. We're going to cease to exist in America. Your money's supposed to bounce seven to eight times before it leaves your community. We don't even own a business in our entire community. Nothing. We don't own a toilet paper factory. Folks, let's pray and let's unite and stop murdering each other. Put those books down and pick up some, put those guns down and pick up a book. Pray, folks.